you have um, images, for example, of the Great Red Gate at Zojoji, and we see an automobile passing passing through. And I look at this juxtaposition of these two prints, it's really striking to me. Um, one looks like an old print, you know, mm -hmm. there's absolutely looking back. Right. It's very traditional, the right. one on the left, the temple, the snow, the umbrella. You're saying it's looking back because that's what the foreigners wanted. Then we get to the other print and we got the the same cliche, the red temple gate and the snow falling, and we got a lady with an umbrella, and then there's an automobile <laughs> coming through the gate. And that's stunning to see that automobile coming through the gate in this print, to me. It's stunning, John, and it's, it's very sneaky. Uh, this print is, is by uh, an artist by the name of Hasui, who was probably the most productive of the Shinhanga artists. If you look at this print closely, uh, on the far left, it tells you when it was uh, printed, February 1936. And it doesn't use the Japanese character for printed, it uses the character for drawn, sha. Uh, so the sketch for this, if you will, was made in February 1936. Now, there was a record snowfall that year in Tokyo, and I suspect many artists were out and about. But something else was going on Indeed. in Tokyo at that time, too, an attempted coup d'etat. Uh, it could well be that this, this print was sketched virtually at the time that the coup was taking place. Why is a chauffeur-driven automobile emerging from uh, the gate of the temple. Th there's, so there's something ominous about this print th oh, th th that goes beyond just seeing modern machinery uh, violating uh, the temple grounds. Mm -hmm. And that will lead us uh, eventually to look at a different way when we're thinking about our artist Koizumi. But you just told us about this and how there's a subtext and a story behind it is what Hiromu was saying earlier that after this there's all sorts of turbulence in Japan right. and much of it's political. And there's left-wing radicalism, there's right-wing radicalism and that's what happened in February 1936 was the right-wing radicals attempted to overthrow the government. Mm -hmm. But to your original point, these are uh, slightly saccharine in their presentation. Yeah, they're pretty saccharine to me. But and and they, they were created by a whole guild, not by the single hand. So they look smooth, they look polished, yeah. um, but occasionally you do come across these little hints of other things going on. And it's striking to me that while the foreign buyers of these images perhaps were interested in these more saccharine image, uh, the city was being transformed into a hyper-modern city right. Uh, right before their eyes. And we don't really get to see any hint of that in these images, except perhaps for that car. But this is when the city is becoming associated with key words like I mentioned earlier, speed, mm -hmm. speedo, uh, modan for modern, uh, where uh, supposedly modan garu, modern girls, and modan boy, mobo, modern boys were walking about. Uh, we don't really get a trace of that in these images, 